you. Yeah. Rochelle, go ahead and unmute yourself. Yeah, this is why when I did that broadcast about um, the kind of women high value men avoid. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Hi, Rochelle. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. What do you got for me? Okay, so this is actually my first time listening um, to your show or watching your show. Um, and I actually was having this conversation um, tonight with a friend of mine who sent me the link and everything. So I'm 38. And so I know you've had a lot of younger women on, but I'm 38. Um, I am single. I have no children. Um, so I know you were talking about when women get to that 40 plus range you know it starts to go downhill luckily i'm still fertile um okay. <laughs> because when you get my age you start to see a fertility doctor and make sure you're good um right. but i Wait. guess my question to you would be for women that are over the age of 35 or like myself approaching you know 40 in two years um it is very difficult out here to find um men that are that are really ready to to settle down and take things seriously. I've met plenty of guys that are really great, but then they have these insecurity issues, or they're just they're just okay. still showing it up, 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 showing it up. You're 38 and so. you're ready to get married, and <laughs> you're you're good. But the problem is you can't seem to find a man that's ready to marry you. Um. I wouldn't nutshell. say necessarily ready to marry me, but ready to at least be Do you want to be married? Do you want to be married? I do. How long should it take you to how long should it take a man uh to marry a woman? How long how how long should it take a man before he knows he wants to marry a woman? Um, I think that most men probably know within six months to a year. So again, so you want to be married. So you want to mm -hmm. be on that path because you're thirty eight. What city right. are you in? I'm in Chicago. All right. So um, when I talk about no man's land, danger zone, and all this other thing, I say it not to be pejorative. It's just a focus. Um, mm -hmm. I, just because you're over 35 doesn't mean it's over. I mean, I know women that are that age. I've actually gone out with women that age. Uh, but it's different. Mm -hmm. It's different in the sense that um, what's the longest relationship you've ever had? Uh, my longest relationship was five years. How long ago was that? Hi, Jessica. Hi, uh, Monique. I see you in there. Five years. How long ago was that? Um, that was in 2017. 2017. Five years. It ended in 2017? Yes. Uh, so you were 2012, 2017. Were you guys in the same city? Yes. Why didn't you guys get married? Um, he He was a serial cheater. I mean, and honestly, you're one of your and you're one of your five. Um, in year three. So why did you stay? Um, I think just that I was curious. No, I, I understand. I think that I had to do a lot of self reflection um, in okay. order to understand that after the relationship, and it was a lot of. Um, okay, that's fine. That's okay. Let me. I, I, I've got four more people. I need to kind of get through this. Um. Mm -hmm. Um. And that's fine, you know. You don't find, I mean, three years, people need to go through their process. You know, just get rid of somebody. I get it. Um, how tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five, five. Uh, dress size? What's my, I, my dress size? Uh-huh. Did you say my dress size? Yes. I'm a size 6 or 8. Size 6 or 8. And how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? I weigh myself every day, so I was 148 this morning. Cool. Um, last question. If you had to give yourself a rating, just your face, <laughs> uh, fresh face right out of the shower, your mm -hmm. natural hair, um, what would you give yourself on a scale from 1 to 10, and you cannot use 7? Oh, I'm not going to use 7. I would give myself at least uh, 8.95. So around here, Beyonce is roughly an eight. Kelly Rowland's roughly a nine. Mm -hmm. so, so you're you're on the Kelly Rowland end of things. Yes, I am. All right. Um, in the last three years, 
how many men have you had has seriously <laughs> wanting to date you? Um, what is this? 2020s? Well, I had just gone out of that relationship in 2017. So two I've been on. Ago. Right. But when you go through something like that, you got to take some time. No, you don't. No, no you do. If you've been in abusive oh, relationships, you do right, have to take see, time. Now, this is not okay. Hold on now. <laughs> Recognize where you're at. That's your. I one. know where I am. I'm just all right. This okay. Let me explain something. Okay, I'm nice to you if you're nice to me. I have no particular dog in the fight, but you can't talk over the host. The things. No, I'm not going not, to. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So in the last three years, um, even after your detox from your relationship. What's the longest uh, time you've dated anyone since your breakup? Uh, three months. Three months. Um, had you yeah. guys gotten intimate? Yes, we had. Who ended it? Who ended it? Um, he did. Uh, do you happen to know why? Um, yes. Um, he was going through some personal issues that required therapy, so he said. Okay. I don't, I, I mean, I call bullshit. I don't know if people curse on your show, but I call BS um, right. on that. To me, it's like he just wanted to meet and he just wanted to screw. And then once he got but what you, he wanted, he But you're 38 out. years old and you can have sex. Mm -hmm. You don't need to lie to you about it. Let me oh, no, the, he doesn't have to lie to me about it. And so, I don't lie to other people about it. <clears throat> so if you're, who tends to end your relationships when you're, since 2017, you or guys, even in the I casual dating. Okay. And you said you've gone through therapy? Yes. I'm still and, going through it. Right. And what were you diagnosed? What 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 did your therapist or your counselor say? Um, anxiety and depression. Yep. 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 So is an issue really that men aren't necessarily ready for what you're ready um, for? I don't think that that's necessarily that men are not necessarily ready. I mean, I think that I am taking that this time now to process and heal the, the wounds that I have so that I'm also ready. But I've just noticed that um, I, don't, I don't know if I necessarily agree that you just have to stop cold turkey with meeting people and, and, and dating while you're going through I, didn't, I never therapy. said you had to stop cold turkey, ma'am, but your relationship was over in 2017, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're going into relationships, are you going into them just casually? Just saying, hey, I'm still in, in process, so I just want to keep this, you know, very light because I'm not mm -hmm. looking to get married because I'm still got some things going on with me. No, I don't. I don't get that personal, you know, when I'm first meeting somebody. Then I don't understand. Um, what is it? What's the outcome that you want to achieve? You want to get married. And you've been in therapy for how long? Um, just a month, not long. Okay. Um, I have to ask. If what you were saying happened was so traumatic, why did it take you three years before you two two plus years before you started counseling? Um, I have a, a very public facing career, so and I have moved okay. um quite a bit. Um in, in those three years. I've lived in three different cities. So mm -hmm. um so, I mean, that was also part of it. But now I'm having time to kind of reflect. And then my father died um, in September. Okay. So all of that uh, compounded uh, right. is so in, three, so in three years. <laughs> okay. I'm going on what you said, that it was a traumatic relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, And having a public career, public facing career. Uh, mm -hmm. Celebrity stars, people get counseling all the time. It would have been wiser to do it. Uh, back then, so we wouldn't just be because you're only a, you're only a month into it now. Mm -hmm. You're not ready. Okay. And I'm, and I'm telling you, in the interaction I'm having with you, you're you're editing yourself right now. But I can feel that I can feel what you're doing. How am and I so editing you, myself? Um, look, man. I'm good at what I do. I don't have thousands of people watching me because I don't. But what I'm telling you, even <laughs> if you're as attractive as you say you are, mm -hmm. um, you you will be difficult to date. Mm. Why? 
because you're still broken. Mm-hmm. You want to go back and forth with me over some things. And I'm like, man, five years. And if it hurt that much, that means between 2017 and last month, the guys that you've interacted with were getting pieces. Hmm. So the problem isn't finding men who are ready to do whatever. Even if you met a perfect man, you're not whole enough to be a, a wife. Which is what mm-hmm. I talk about often on this show. Professional, attractive, successful women whose relationship skills are completely unfit for the things they say they want. Hmm. And it's because you, you, we have such a stigma in the black community about therapy. Um, so we're the last people to go seek it. Then when we do go seek it, We don't want it to take as long as it does. Um, And then the sad part is we start diagnosing everybody else when you're a novice in therapy. Um, If you know you ultimately want to get married, the best thing to do is, um, when's the last time you saw your ex? Um, He came to my father's funeral, so in September. I, I see in the same city? No. Okay. Um, and when you date now, mm-hmm. um, well, I have to ask, how do you get your itch scratched? Do you have an itch scratcher? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I'm okay uh, with that. Does he know you're in, does he know he's an itch scratcher? Yes. Yeah. And he's been scratching your itch for quite a while. Are, are you talking about my ex or? No, I'm talking about the guy you're having sex with. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. Honestly, I thought you were actually talking about like a, a toy. No. no, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I physically. No, mean. I don't. No, I'm not intimate with anybody. When was the last time you were intimate with someone? Uh, Last month. What is this? Yeah, last month. Okay. All right. And that was the... Okay. So, you don't have a friend with benefit than who you can have sex with on a consistent... I mean, I I do, but it's... They're just not in Chicago, but... I do. Okay. Uh, It sounds very chaotic, ma'am. It's not... It's not chaotic. uh, I... Okay. No, you're I think you're absolutely right when you talk about, you know, being a whole woman and having broken pieces and things to fix, which is why I'm seeking the help. But my life is not chaotic. I'm saying that uh, uh, and say, you okay. Um, choose whatever word it fits. It just doesn't sound very simple. Um, If you have someone that you have as a friend with benefits, somebody to have sex with, but they're not in town. But I don't sense. need it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that serious to me. So that's why that I don't think that that's a complicated part of my life because it's not that necessary. So sex is so. OK, so then why do you have a why do you have a battery operated buddy if it's not that necessary? I mean, the physical touch of a man is not that necessary for me well, to that, have to fly that, out to L.A. That, and thank you. And right there. Thank you. Thank you. The physical touch of a man is not that necessary because you have a better operated buddy. And see, that's the brokenness, which is the chaotic part. What I'm just saying be, is, is just that because, I'm just because not you going can, to. Just because, okay. All right. Um, this is this could possibly get very messy. At the end of the day, man, at 38 years old, <laughs> the issue is not mm-hmm. men. The issue is not mm-hmm. men. The issue is not men. Especially men in Chicago. You're in an international city. There are plenty of marriageable men that are damn sure are earning well who are marriage minded. Uh-huh. Hell, I got yeah. Excuse me? I said there there certainly are. I mean, I literally right. just moved here on Saturday. Right. <laughs> so, um, but I will tell you, without a shadow of a doubt, um, the you know, if you're uh, 
what kind of what kind of income do you want your potential husband to make? Um, you know, honestly, I've never been that much of a stickler when it comes to that. Give me a ballpark. Um, this ballpark. I would say, I would say maybe two hundred. Two hundred thousand dollars. Do you do you care if he has kids or not? No, I mean, okay. At this, at my age, I feel like men that I'm gonna meet that and are how older. T- will and, and how tall, have do you care how, how 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 tall he is? I mean, as long as he's maybe five nine and up. How tall are you? Five five. Five five. Um. All right. Um. What percentage of men in this country earn over two hundred thousand dollars? Oh, geez. Um, well, if we're talking black men, um, nope, just men, period. Just men, uh, maybe six percent, right? So, and men who are making that kind of money, six mm-hmm. percent roughly, um, they for the most part are the cream of the crop of financial earners, they mm-hmm. have their pick of the litter. So I asked right. the question. I asked you. I asked the question of you that I asked all women. Why would a man who's earning two hundred thousand dollars plus, who can have any woman, want you? Well, I think that I would be coming in with also my own, you know, six figure salary. Don't and give a shit about your money. I know they don't, but I'm just saying I would be coming in with my own. So it's not like I'm coming to them with my money, but I know that I have. Yeah. Rochelle, really... we, we don't care about your money or your careers or anything like that. I'm just being honest, ma'am. I get it. You have it, but it doesn't. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you ladies why this doesn't matter. Because you're not going to, we don't have access to it anyway. And you're going to be spending it on us. So uh, your money why doesn't. Why would you say that? Uh, okay. Do women in general, who, who, who in general funds the relationship? I would say men in general right. fund the Who's relationship, exactly, but why would a woman not want to do for her man too? Um, well, this is going to be another problem, man. Um, what is your your vertical, your career path? You don't have to tell me the exact title. Um, I work in higher education. All right. Um, hmm. Women typically don't spend money on men. Period. Mm -hmm. Point blank. End of sentence. Uh, I do very well for myself. And it's not a surprise. We laugh about how how you can buy a Birkin bag over here, but they think they bought you a video game. It's something. Mm -hmm. What's the most you've ever what's the most you've ever spent on your man? That's not a birthday, Christmas or anniversary type. Just on a Tuesday. (laughs) Um, I actually, um, I spent, it was a, a Tumi bag that I bought for one of my exes and it was like about $600. $600. And it was just, then yeah. that, ain't, that ain't shit. I spent mm-hmm. $600 at dinner. So I'm sorry, your six figure job and everything else don't mean shit to us because your bag, the shoes that I bought you was 600 I could pull $600 worth of shit and throw it at this camera right now. I'm in New York City. And I, anyway, $600? That's what I mean. I, I, I say that, man, because when I say stuff, you ladies want to push back and like, well, I make it. It don't matter if we don't have access. To I wasn't it. pushing back. I didn't even get I a say chance ladies to in general, it, we don't have access. <laughs> we don't have access to your money. We don't have access to your money and we're not going to be able to spend it. And that's fine. So what else do you bring? What else? Like you said, why would he want you? And you were going to, outside of your money and your accomplishments, what else do you bring to the table? Um, I bring, I think that for me, I think that I'm a very, very supportive woman when it comes to, I know in my past relationships, when it comes to their dreams and their goals, I know that I am able to speak life into them. Um, I'm extremely submissive um, in a sense. I actually, sometimes when you're in, these senior roles as a woman and you're like this dominant figure all day long it's nice to come home and be able to just be submissive it's being submissive helps me to relax honestly in relationships um so your five-year relationship did you live with him yes i did um and he out earned you no i owned him 
Say again? No, I out-earned him. Okay. Um, substantially? Um, yes. Did he go to college? Did he or did I? Did he? Um, no. And where'd you graduate from? Johns Hopkins. You need to book five sessions. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right here, man, because you you go. My website is buykevinsamuels.com. I don't want to do this right here. Mm-hmm. Incredible. 